What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Break Zone. I'm JT. This is Lawrence. Uh, we're here cover, giving you live coverage of the Meta Potion Circuit, uh, event number four, here in San Jose, California, our hometown, at Just Flip TCG. Before we move on to the top four match, we want to give a huge shout out to the Just Flip TCG staff, who've been amazing here, but in this event, also want to give a shout out to uh, the Meta Potion Circuit organizers, Matthew Okamoto and Kyle McGinty. You guys rock. Thank you for putting on such an amazing circuit. We saw a great game last match. It was just a lot of back and forth. This is what you expect from the top eight. I mean, it is nice to see certain decks that don't focus so much on being so much early game to progressive, but the what happens when you play a control control matchup, right. and it's a game of inches. It is. It is. You're, it's you're just, all about resource management correct. and all that. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into top four. Uh, this is a rematch from the first round. Um, this is a rematch from the first round. This is against TJ and Darrell. Um, now they're both in top four. Um, so let's go ahead and jump to their match and take a look. All right, so. All right, it looks like we're ready to go. Uh, Darrell sporting his lucky Dragonite card. Um, you know, we see that. We see a lot of a lot of players He's bringing. He's already uh, one damage from Pokemon <laughs> Zone. <laughs> we see a lot of players bringing these little lucky charts with them, and it's always good to see them play again. TJ and Darrell both played in our first Swiss round one. It's good to see them both come back and play each other again. Now in the top four, the winner of this is going to go to the grand finals, where both players would qualify for the championship series for the Meta Potion Circuit. So both of these players are really fighting it to kind of get to that top spot so they can qualify to the invitation only championship series here at the Meta Potion Circuit. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Let's see who's going first. Everyone looks like everyone's already drawn. Cards are uh, ready to be played. Daryl starts off. Darrell starts off strong with a first gold turn gold First turn gold bears. That is a 9k body right there. He's just gonna drop that right down. Looking over uh, that playlist, this is actually uh, very light on backups. We're talking right, about right. Uh, I believe I want to see Cosmos and Fasoya. So it looks like Darrell's playing a, a variant of the Gobez no uh, Gobez off boards. Yeah, Gobez almost no backups. And right, right. And he also put in some. Uh, Cadets? Yeah, well, the cadets are great fetches because they're all twos. They all do something different. You could mm -hmm. actually play the cadet with the cadet in your right. hand. So you can do a lot of different things with them. Yes. And so it looks like he is coming TJ's. out. He's going to drop the Gilgamesh. I hope there's three Gilgamesh, actually. Um, you know, truth be told, I think the role would. It would suit him not to break his Gilgamesh right now. Just keep attacking. If you no, got no, TJ I mean, playing no backups. It's, no, no, no. TJ will, will probably play backups eventually, but Daryl does not have the option to. Meaning, he, it does seem that he should be pushing he sh his, his he advantage. Should, he could. Uh, the thing is, if he does attack, TJ does get the opportunity to swing back with a smaller creature. Right. Because right. Forward. Uh, so, unless Daryl has a follow up play of another forward, it is not advantageous. Because normally, what you do is that if you start doing that race, haha, I'll go all in every turn. You are definitely allowed for a swing back, and whoever has the most forwards has the advantage. So let's see what happens next. I mean, they're saying each other. I don't know well, if uh, that Gilgamesh is a little intimidated by that mighty gold bed. So. <laughs> it's a little, uh... Alright, alright. TJ's is. still up to act here. It's a tough thing to do. I mean, you're saying out a Golbez, and uh, lucky for him though, it is a Golbez that does. Oh no, the, this Golbez does with Fanfrey. Ooh, yeah, the first the turn play that, might yeah. hurt that if first turn gets to gets to draw into that Fanfrey. But let's see how that plays out. Oh, there you go. The passed his turn, so we're on the turn two right now. But with him not passing the advantage with this Golbez. Correct. He didn't use this up. There goes the VV, okay. Alright, let's see if. We saw this in the first list. Yeah. VV was actually able to do a lot of um, destruction after Darrell broke his uh, Golbez. Oh. Maybe Darrell's learned from their first match that you don't want to break that Golbez right away. I think I see a card in Durrell's hand that is one of my favorite cards. Is that the strongest sword? It is, it is. Oh, no. is and he, right is, now... Is he going to play it out? He's going to play the strongest sword? I love the card. I would, I would a very fun card. sword. No, it's the reason, have, it's the reason why... He has a fair frame in his hand. He does have a fair frame in his hand. 
is he going to break it on TJ's turn? But we'll see what happens. If you yeah. break the fan for now, if you break the Golbez now, you're losing board presence. Correct. Because Gilgamesh is going to block him. Vivi is going to blow something up. You yeah. don't want to break the Golbez right now. I really hope he doesn't break the Golbez and he goes for board presence first. He looked like he wants to play that fan for it though. I would not play that fan for it, Dar Darrell. I would actually play the Gilgamesh. And, uh, oh, oh, he plays into the Al Cid. Is that an out full on Al Cid? No. He's just going to choose the. Uh, oh, that is interesting. But he's gonna Get, wait, 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 I don't believe the, the damage triggers if you don't have a follow up to it. No, the damage does not trigger unless. Oh, wait, there, well, there's there the follow up. So he's going to. He should have really right. just chose the, the Gilgamesh. He chose. You should have just chose Gilgamesh on both turns. That's correct. Uh, uh, right. Going... He does get on the board. Um, it would have been good. He knows that that blast is going to come. There you go. Uh, TJ's on. But the first part of damage, Darrell has drawn first blood in this match. The best of three in our top four for the Meta Potion Circuit event number four here in San Jose, California. Coming at you from Just Lip TCG. Uh, but playing against the matchup, I, I do have to admit that uh, I've played both as and against a no backup deck before. And when your opponent that plays a no back, when your opponent plays a no backup deck and forces you to play it, no backup in kind, you are really losing out on a lot of the effects of your, your, right, right, right. your deck. I mean, for the most part, uh, the majority of my backups had a function. Whether it fetches, whether it activates, or just other kinds of shenanigans. Right. We, we've uh, seen... You we just have, had a lot of right. power, but not able to use those. Right. We've seen TJ play uh, before, um, you know, and he does not want to play into Darrell's no backup scenario. He needs to start building his backup line when he hasn't taken that much damage yet. Correct. But I think you don't want to match a gold best player doing this. They're going to beat you out. That's correct. Um, you know, unless your fours are much, much more efficient, mm -hmm. um, you don't want to play this. You don't want to play that, that, that type of game. I think one of the issues running into is that normally his deck is set up to destroy the, the, the opponent's forwards and thus create board presence. In this case, you do not want to destroy the gold best on your own. That would be giving you know, value it to might, your own. It might actually be a good idea because gold best right now is singularly too big to deal with. You can deal with a lot of little smaller fours. You know? I don't think it's the end of the world. I mean, TJ is running, it currently has the Opus 3 Giggle Mission play, meaning that if he were to block and and do the 2000 damage ability from fire, which he's playing, right, right. he would be able to destroy the gold best. I mean, he would sacrifice his own uh, his own forward in, in order to do that. I would force Daryl to play that fan for it, but right now Daryl has bird presence. He's just gonna keep attacking. Not, yes, that is correct. He does not need to fan for it. Yeah. He's so just gonna keep he's swinging. Gonna, he's gonna keep swinging. I don't know if TJ has an answer to gold best. I mean, you, you did mention that you saw the first round. So the first was round was, was great. Uh, uh, TJ was able to play cards like Exodius um, and just using his his uh, fire abilities to get rid of things after gold best is cracked. The one key mistake that Darrell made in the first match was he cracked Golbez too quickly, giving uh, TJ much more of a board presence in terms of his fours being a lot stronger. I TJ see. is pitching. I see oh. three oh. backups. Well, he four is backups. Pitching all, all, is, is he going to Alcid and Alcid? He's going to Alcid. And there's an Alcid on an Alcid. Then he is going to force. Oh, wait. He, he has is. to choose the Alcid. Yes, that's correct. There, yes, there's he no, has to choose the Alcid, yes. That's correct. So he is going to try to force Daryl to play out his hand eventually by he's gonna making the swing, swing back TJ, big enough. TJ is going to have to swing. He is not using that Gilgamesh to block. That's correct. He should be swinging to get some points of damage oh. on the board. There, there is no, per, no reason to hold back your Gilgamesh. Exactly. The, the Rigia is a much better target to sacrifice to a Golbez, where Golbez right. to attack. Do you think Darrell thinks he needs to fan for it now? It looks like he's eyeing that. He also has I a do think that he needs to. Right. He's, his board condition, the swing back is too big. So he has, now he has his goal best is... Hand, is so so the, another line of play that he has is if he still has in his hand, strongest sword would be a very strong play. His his whole, his whole deck is mostly built around that card. I'm a little surprised that he's not playing it. That's what I would do as well. He has that Gilgamesh. He has the Opus 3 Gilgamesh, I believe, as well. 
Oh, and he's gonna get a free pack. Oh, uh, he want it? He, and he activates it. And he does it. activate it. Oh, this is good. You want TJ wants to activate right now. All those guys can block his, his, those two drops. Oh, that's correct. And if you see TJ is holding the Exodus in Ooh, his hand, that's he correct. wants that card. I think he's short one, uh, one lightning card in his hand. He cannot yes, do he it. He cannot Ooh. do it yet. But on his turn, he will be able to. Hopefully, when he draws into it. That's correct. Um, currently, right now, though. Even though if Darrell chooses a four, Ooh, he's still gonna four be and a two. That is the whole board wiped. Yes. No, no, no. You it have is. a Rigdia. Rigdia is two. Oh, if you choose a, no, but yes, it will. Right, it, you'll wipe it will, the entire board. You yeah. will wipe the entire board because if he chooses two, which he should, he should. Daryl should choose four. Right, return. right. But you know what? He can bait that out right now because. Yeah. Correct. So I think what he's gonna do. Is he's gonna go in? He's gonna attack with everything, and on the swing back, he will exit this. So he'll get his first. Right, right. Well, let's see what Darrell's gonna. He looks like he has another play in mind. Darrell has a huge grip of cards. He, he does, has a lot of does. options. We do not have let's access see to. Oh, oh, he looks like three. he's going. Is that another? No, you would not be another gold best. Would it? He's gonna drop another. And gold there's another gold best. Wow. wow, he's gonna drop another gold best. Gold friends, literally right in front of you. Right in front of you. Um. I actually think that's a strong play. That's a strong play. TJ is not equipped to play this no backup game. He, he is runs not. the Lulus and everything. He's also at the points of damage. So he he is he's hurting right now. Um, I definitely needs, want to hear about what what he, what what made him decide not to play the backup game. Right, right. Maybe he didn't. Well, he looks like he has he has Grammys, He has a black bolt. He has a, a black mage. He has a fasoya. I mean, a lot he, of them would have came in handy. The black mage by itself, I think, I coming to play, would have destroyed the. He's trying to get in. He's, right. Is he trying to crack the gold best through party attack? Yes. Wow. Okay. He's gonna try to crack the gold best oh, the party and attack. And I was just gonna take that damage. That's correct. And that's that's, correct. that's, that's, that's what I you think. Want I see right what's now. coming though. You, you know the excess is coming, right? Right. Is TJ gonna pull the trigger on that? Yeah. We'll have to see. He's just letting Daryl play it out. He is. He's letting him. That's what he does. Oh. If Daryl were to fanfare right now, it would be horrible. Yes. Do because not he would be fanfare. walking straight do not into fanfare. the Exodus. Do not fanfare it. He's gonna party attack right into. He's going to party attack, run into the thing, and uh, he's going to oh, get that free card draw. Attack. It's a party attack with uh, reducing the reducing the guild crash by, I believe it's three. No wait, it's only one, by one. Are you, you done? Are you done or is it playing? Oh, it's two. Are you done or? Oh, it's two. Dude. All right, let's see what like happens. TJ is now at four points of damage. He is skirting really close to being. Uh, he's getting pretty close here. I'm not sure. Really, don't this think is that TJ should be playing oh, this no backup game. But there goes the Exodus for two. It's, it's going to be two and four. I definitely believe it's going to be a two and four. Yep. Two from TJ and four from Daryl. What, what if the board Daryl chooses six? And cracks his uh, Golbez for free. No, because after that, the Gilgamesh stays and so does the Al Cid. He should not do that. Well, let's see what he does. He's definitely going to lose all his even if he Even if he wanted to do that, he would be better off waiting for the X's to come through, wipe the board, fan it after the fact. Right. That would be the best play. We know he has fan it. Best thing to do now is to take the two, call the four, wipe out TJ's board, keep your Golbez out, and don't do anything. Just attack with the Golbez. That's correct. Uh, Just Golbez, keep attacking the first the Golbez. Golbez did that for a couple turns. Right. I believe the second one will be able to as well. Yeah, right. That's the best thing to do. Just let it go. Don't choose six. Don't do choose, six. choose six. I do not choose, think six. You choose six. Oh, and it looks like two was called, and was it the four or the is six? He's debating. He's, he's thinking mean, about these, don't think and there you go. He decided right, he four. A four. Whew, much better play right there. I definitely agree with this line of play. It would have been... Uh, <laughs> now you're left with gold bats. This is exactly go. what you want. You're going to swing in for the fifth point of damage. Now you have complete board control. 
I'm not sure what TJ has left in his deck that can handle this. I don't think he does. Looks he like only has one Exodus, so that is not going to come up again as an answer to the problem. 5-1, looks like, uh, yeah, looks like Darrell is, is, is on it right now. He is firing all cylinders here with the double Gomez. Both pairs, um, you know, it's a good rematch. You know, we saw them in the Swiss round one. Um, it was a great match then. Coming back here, um, it looks like Darrell's made some adjustments to the way he's playing his Gomez. He calls it into another fan for it. He's just, he's just going to sit there and wait. This Golbez is doing work for him on all accounts. He's going to win without needing to even crack the second Golbez. I think that second Golbez was a great play. Very risky, great play. We know he's not looking at the Chantoto or anything like that. So right now, he needs to bring something up to help. He's going to just play the Cosmos. Cosmos. I mean, the Cosmos does nothing to in his hand. He cannot pitch it for anything. Right, you might, might as well just play it. Correct. And then now we make a fan for it, not a double discard. Exactly. So the first fan for it and the following any any other three drop or one drop, I believe he's playing the one drop case as well. Right, right. Will be possible and very economical. Right, uh, right. When you're playing the no backup game, otherwise, you are really saying, uh, you really think about a lot, uh, think a lot about the cost of uh, your forwards and your, uh, that you choose and your summons as well because technically you have to round up any odd number so the three cost right. of lead up becomes a four cost of lead up technically right alright so let's see six damage six damage looking into the break zone seeing if there's anything you should be worried about uh, oh let's looks see. like teacher's got a play I don't think he has anything in his hand that's going to be able to do much here Gonna need to break, somehow break that Gobez, and if he has, I don't think he has another Exodius in his deck. He does not. He only has one copy. At this point, I almost wish he had a Bahamut that would really yeah. save him against Gobez. Right, a Bahamut would just remove him from the game. Top five cards. Top, yeah. You may not agree with it, but hey, right now, right what, now, what do you look like, Johnny? It looks helping. It would help him in this situation. It's, oh, a little bit of back and forth. See. There's a lot of cards, he definitely has options. Yeah. Which one is he going to choose? I, I really don't know if he has any line of play that's going to stop him with this Golbez. He's either going to block so. Golbez, jump block it, or if he breaks it, he's going to die even faster. I think he's looking at four guys now. I think it's definitely one of the situations where uh, a lot of people talk oh, about metas. Like he's, he's pitching the and, Phoenix oh, to play a Red Mage. The red Mage. Uh, the, uh, that looks like the... Ooh, I don't know if that's going to do anything. I mean... He is staring down lethal at the moment. Uh, looks like he's got something to play. He's going to pitch the Black Walls into the Phoenix. He's going to go he, ahead oh, and... Oh, hey. Maybe the one, no. Let's see if it's Rigdia. Is it Divi? No, he's uh, going to grab... Oh. I don't know if he has that many other choices right now. No. Two drop yeah. Vivi and two drop Rigdia. It's not going to do anything. He's just going to block so, with it. Correct. I can't attack. He's just going to block. That's all he can do. Yeah. Oh, and that saves one, one turn. turn. Here's Let's one see turn. if uh, that red mage was played for some reason. I can't see for sure. I can't. He's he's looking at a he's looking at a really rough match right now. Uh, oh, Daryl's not even finished with his done, turn. Look at him done. play. He's gonna go What's in. Coming he's out. Play this. Is it? Is it what? He's oh, and the there's a strong back. sword. One of my favorite Gilman. Gil I, Gil I love that card. The card is, it is so, so good. Situational All right. right. Looks like okay, TJ knows that's game, and that's it. Darrell takes down the first first All game right. of this best of three. Um, I don't think it was uh, good for TJ to try to oh, match no. Darrell's um, play into the no backup. He needs to take his time. It's hard, I know, when you're taking a look at a first turn. Um, Golbez. Golbez. That, you know, you're, you're gonna when you play against a Golbez deck, you know that that's gonna happen. You know, you know that's that's a possibility that that's gonna happen. So. If uh, Darrell doesn't get that draw again, we might see a much more even match. However, you see this all the time with uh, Golbez decks. They're right. coin flips. When they right. win, they win really, really, really hard. I mean, this 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 is more of a case of uh, the old school, you know, Golbez no backup, where you could really go either way. I was surprised that Darrell took so much time to go into his strong swords. Strong swords right. that have been strong very effective. Sword, I would have played against, that right away. Right. I, I think, I think I the, the thing he was wondering about though 
is he didn't want to play Stronger Sword against Al Cid, which I believe he remembers. But he you, you, you beat the Al Cid with Stronger Sword. No. Let him kick the Stronger Sword out. But he didn't out. need to. That was the whole point. He, he, he did the right thing, where he played the Gobez knowing that he's playing Fire Lightning that does not have any answers besides Bahamut, which he's right, not seeing right. in the matchup that he experienced with. So this, I, I do believe this is one of the cases where uh, we have a couple players, uh, a couple players that's, right, that's playing different window boxes and circuits, right. where you meet your opponent well, in the Swiss, and you learn a little, little bit about, the, about their deck, and you you make adjust adjustments correct make adjustments, in your right, lines right. of play. And so let's see let's see if TJ can make adjustments. He really right. should not go into the no back play. He needs to he needs to play his game. Right. He's getting taken out of his deck's element. He's his deck. You can't play it in someone else's deck. That's correct. Because That's correct. So then it, they win. Uh, They've I'll got you playing a way that you don't want to play. While everybody agrees that there are easy ways to see that somebody has a board advantage, who has board advantage by just staring down, mm -hmm. there's also a case to be made about following somebody's line of play. And right. that was definitely Darrell's line wow. of play. Wow, no we see Darrell come wow, out with a turn is... one Golbez. That is... How can TJ reply he to that? He pitches a Golbez sure. to play a turn one Golbez. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if he has any answers to that. It's, That's just uh, going to be really, I mean, really tough to deal with. So he has to go into his one copy of Exodus and hope that Daryl does not run out of Gobez, which he has three of them, He pitched one to play this, though, so that's, that's okay. You just need to play your backup game and take those three or four points of damage from the Gobez and try to come back. There you go. Play. It's okay to play some backups. You just don't want to crack that right now uh, until you've got a forward that can deal with it. You know, he's going to take that point of damage. It's going to happen. Okay. But now looking back, did you think that cracking the Golbez with the seven drop Odin was it? Was the right line of play? I don't know. I, I don't know because he didn't have any forwards that could do anything to, to stop yeah, that. Yeah, the swing back was pretty good for him. Though, it's right? true. That's very true. As long as he didn't play Al Cid, I believe Daryl's holding back on his uh, on his uh, strongest for Gilgamesh, with which was actually advantageous for TJ. He created a, a, a level cell made that was ideal to TJ seeing that he does not have many other answers to right. the crap. It's just really course. difficult to see uh, two, two, two games in a row. I don't what goal is. It, it mean, doesn't happen very often. It doesn't but happen it, very often, but when it but happens, when it happens, happens it's, like, gonna... it's really tough, tough to deal with. Yeah, like, correct. what are you going to do with this, right? Mm -hmm. So, looking now, he has the red mage. Uh, TJ can now, now finally play his odd... odd... odd cost cards, right. which he could not because be effectively play left before. The VV is going to do 4,000. 4,000 plus, plus oh, another 4,000. Oh. It actually cracked the gold best with the VV. cracks the gold best with the VV. Let's see what he gets after. Oh. Okay, let's see. Actually, I don't. No, that is no, eight. That, that is, is only eight. eight. That gold best does not, not crack. Ooh. It's only eight. Did TJ keep that in mind? I don't think he did. Wait, is that. He could still crack the Golbez if he wants to play he could, that but he has to follow it up. He cannot use Iridia. He could use Onion Knight, perhaps, but he's going to have to overpay for things. I would actually, an answer. Yeah. There's no, an answer no, of there's probably Phoenix. Oh, no, he has a Phoenix in the grave he's already. He's going to play the Let's Onion Knight. Uh, there, you Knight. there we go. There you go, crack That's going to do it. Then so that, now he actually, okay. he actually effectively, <laughs> effectively has two blockers for that four will... Guys. Yeah, I think that's actually an okay that's move here. not too bad, but that's still going to be difficult. And you know Darrell discarded a goal best to play his goal best. That's correct, that's correct. Right? But so, you think about it, number-wise, he mm -hmm. played three cards to play one, mm -hmm. it's gonna get crushed, he gets four more cards, but TJ only played four cards and he still has a board presence and a backup. Well... I am actually okay with that. It's pretty good, it's definitely the better answers to goal best. Right, I'm actually with. okay with that. He's gonna grab his VV and bomb the Onion Knight or the other VV. Keep in mind, Daryl still has a grip of cards. He does have a grip of cards, but he's playing Golbez. A lot of those cards are probably <laughs> not playable. We'll have to see what he does. I don't know. It's going to be tough. Looks like he ha he's got a... I want to say he The has, size is going to be... The size is going to be uh, really Actually, good. no, the size is okay. He's not playing the full, the does, full set of cadets. He Kades. does have an Al Sid in his hand. I'm surprised he played the Vivi. Uh, Vivi's would, good. Vivi's, Vivi's uh, pretty good. Vivi's pretty good. But if he, he, oh, okay, okay. All right. Let's. Uh, I'll sit onion knight on. No, just I'll sit by himself. Let's see him uh, nope, get the full value of it. Discard those two cards instead of the ones. Nope. He just and he's not just, gonna do anything. Oh, oh wait, wait. He's gonna choose. 
that? Wow, he's been and, playing. And uh, Gilgamesh should deal it for 6,000. Oh, hold on. Let's, let's see what the players are discussing. All right, he dealt the 6,000 from Malcid onto the Onion Knight. He's going to pop the VV and he's going to swing VV to for four points of damage. Oh, That's three correct. points of damage. Now he has, he's able to hit with four forwards. I would not go forwards. for, I would not go for the card draw. There you go. Hit with one at a time. It's going to put him at one. The Phoenix, it's not going to help him here. That's Ooh. not going to help him here. And that's going to put a Cyclops. Oh, Cyclops? Might. No, does not no, deal enough nothing, to nothing destroy there. anything. Unless that, he had another one in hand, at which point he could wipe the board. TJ at four points of damage wow. right off the bat. He's now looking at five guys. He's already looking at lethal. That is definitely a he definitely burger. needs an that's exodus. That's the five guys, dude. That, that's, that's the five guys. That's the five guys. Would you like some cheese with that? Because <laughs> that's definitely the Golbez first turn cheese. Come into play and deal with me or... You're definitely gonna have a tough time. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna it's be. It's another rough. battle. Like facing a gold best first turn on two consecutive magic two games. Yeah, that's that's uh, this is really really hard to deal with right here. That's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Yeah, you know it, it is. I, that's gonna. Be I would not want to be in, in TJ's position. That's, that's just a rough match at TJ's end. You know, like you're looking at just wow. He drops but, into another Alcid rig deal. I would just attack with the Alcid and. Get free damage out of it. Hopefully, it dies. Get in with another Alcid video. It just, Ooh, just unfortunately, swing. Right now, even if TJ gets, has Exodus, it would actually get rid of his whole board as well, leaving room for the. Uh, well, Alcid? either Gilgamesh or the Alcid to stay yeah. alive. Yeah. He can only pick one or the other. Right. Oh, he pitches oh. the Alcid for Rigdia. And that kills. I believe that kills. Uh, Vivi. Vivi and. Wait, no, Bruce. because it's not damaged. Oh, it doesn't have to be damaged. Oh, right. Onion has to be damaged. Only on your Right. Correct, correct. Oh, let's see how it all plays out. He's gonna go ahead and blow his VV That's and it. kill that. And in turns, after destroying a forward, it's gonna the Rigdia is gonna I activate the Dolabelly. I believe that might be match. It just might be. That puts TG at five, six, uh, that's and it, that and that's seven. seven. That and Darrell takes it down, 7-0 against TJ. He is now moving on to the grand finals of this match. Wow. You're looking at two, you're looking at two right from the get-go. Right from the get-go, you're looking at two first turn Golbez. We've played a lot of matches. That is a rarity. It's hard to deal with that from any deck. I'll say it is hard to deal with that. It is not that uncommon. I mean, we've seen other strategies for gold right. where I even play Artemisian to get to the gold best. Just as I play the Artemisian to get into the... But that's land. just such a hard game. That's just so hard to deal with. You know? I think it was definitely the wrong matchup in terms right. of... Uh, Fire Lightning does not deal well with the gold best. I mean, uh, the answer he, that he had for it, the best one would have been Exodus. Uh, he has one of... He does not have the Bahamuts, and thus... He, he was fighting an uphill battle. He did do a good job in the second game. He stabilized pretty well. And uh, it just kind of got out of hand afterwards. Right, yeah, you know, it's just it's just too hard to deal with that. Um, it Darrell is, played it well. He, he played he played his Golbezes correctly. He uh, effectively traversed um, going being with Exodius. Um, that second that second Golbez was over extension, but a good calculated risk. I like it, he played well. He deserves to be in the Grand Finals. He's Correct. played well all day today. Um, and, you know, it's great. It's great to catch him. Uh, you know, we've been covering him for a while. Mm -hmm. It's just great to see him in the Grand Finals. I think it's definitely interesting to see the Golbis come back. And I think uh, it might have been off stream that we talk about it sometimes. Right, right. It's the whole cyclical nature of the meta. How if you if you consistently ignore Golbez, he'll come back and he'll just bite you. He will. And he this will. is definitely one of those cases. We, we've seen Golbez make a a surge in popularity over the last couple of weeks. Yeah. We've also seen, on the other hand, Five Drop Lulu right, has right. made a resurgence and it has in turn caused Hecaton Cure to make a comeback. Right. But Hecaton Cure is ineffective against the backup goal best, obviously. Right, yeah, right. So, it, it's right. a little bit of a, a yeah. Pips is a rock nature that exactly, makes exactly. this game so enjoyable. Exactly. And it's so great. It's yes, so good yes. to this, that, is, so. this is what I love to do is that, you know, you kind of look at what people are playing around you, what your deck is with you yeah. after you go through the gauntlet of a circuit. Right, right. And you yeah. definitely make 
make a little changes, make a little tweaks. All right, so and, we're gonna we're, right, right, we're gonna take a little break. Uh, we have the grand finals now. Players are getting ready to go. Um, Laurent, I'm Johnny. Um, you know, welcome to the break zone. We are gonna go back. We'll be uh, back after the, after this uh, small break to cover the grand finals. So stay tuned. All right.